Intestinal research is an extremely exciting field to be a part of right now. With uh, the new discoveries that are being found in inflammatory bowel diseases, such as Crohn's or ulcerative colitis, uh, as well as intestinal cancers, we really know more than we ever have about the intestine. The Clevers Group are really world leaders in intestinal research. They were able to take what they know about the signaling pathways that make up the stem cell niche and employ protocols that allow for the culture of intestinal crypts in a 3D matrix. You can now take a functional 3D model of an intestine and look at it in a dish. Before the culture of intestinal organoids was possible, scientists were really bound on taking one of two approaches, either in vivo studies using human or animal models or in vitro studies. Intestinal organoids allow the bridging of these two paths of research. As a researcher, organoid culture now gives you opportunities that are completely novel compared to what was previously done. Part of the limitations of studies in in vivo systems are that you have more than the epithelium itself. Because the organoid is simply an isolated epithelium, we don't have to speculate on the effects of the circulatory or immune systems in the system. The intestinal organoid model allows us to become more specific in the scientific questions we ask. It's really exciting to be part of the team at Stem Cell that has the opportunity to combine with researchers around the world on such a novel, exciting technology. We're really excited that we have a media that can provide researchers with such an easy opportunity to jump into this field. Intestacult Organoid Growth Media does exactly what the name says. It allows researchers to grow organoids. These organoids can be passage, they can be frozen, you can transfect with DNA or siRNA, and you can also infect with either retro or lentivirus. It's giving researchers a tool to ask questions that weren't previously possible. Currently, the research being done on intestinal organoids is at its infancy. It's come at a time where other developments in science are allowing for genetic manipulations, regenerative treatments, and organoids really provide researchers with a novel tool to apply these advancements that are currently going on around them. Studies using intestinal organoids are already pushing what we know about regenerative medicine. Regenerative therapies that I was introduced to as a child through science fiction films are, are now becoming reality. The availability of intestinal organoid growth media will allow more researchers to explore the questions they're currently addressing in a more physiologically relevant way. Intestinal organoid growth medium provides scientists with a tool to expand and advance their intestinal epithelial research.